NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has peered into a lonely dwarf galaxy in detail. The galaxy known as Wolf Lundmark Malot, WLM, lies about 3 million light years from us in the Cetus constellation. This observation is part of a study known as Resolved Stellar Populations, RSTs, which look at large groups of stars near enough for individual stars to be visible, but far enough apart that telescopes can capture many of them at once. The WLM dwarf galaxy is the best example of that. Here's a photo by Spitzer, and here's the same view from Webb. Webb's crystal precise observations have revealed that the lonely galaxy has remained unchanged by interactions with other galaxies. Studying such galaxies can help us test current theories of the formation and evolution of galaxies. This image shows individual stars and their unique colors, sizes, temperatures, and ages. There are also clouds of gas, foreground stars, and background galaxies. Some of the stars imaged are low-mass stars formed in the early universe and can survive for billions of years. Even the WLM's gas is similar to the gas that made up galaxies in the early universe. It's pretty unenriched, said Kristen McQuinn of Rutgers University, lead scientist on the research project, because the dwarf galaxy has lost many of these elements through galactic winds, which come when massive stars explode. Such supernovae can be so powerful that they push material out of small, low-mass galaxies, like WLM. The WLM dwarf galaxy was discovered in 1909 by German astronomer Max Wolf. The galaxy spans about 8,000 light years, including the halo of ancient stars found in 1996. It's part of the local group of galaxies, which contains the Milky Way, the Magellanic Clouds, Andromeda, M33, and several smaller galaxies. However, WLM stands alone at the group's outer edges as one of its most remote members. The galaxy is so small and secluded, hence why it probably has never interacted with other members of the local group and even other galaxies. Another reason astronomers are looking at the WLM galaxy is to calibrate the Webb telescope to ensure it can measure the brightness of stars with extreme accuracy. This will allow astronomers to test stellar evolution models in the near infrared. The RST study is part of the ERS-1334 program, whose focus is to build on previous expertise developed with Spitzer, Hubble, and other space telescopes to learn more about the history of star formation in galaxies. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.